Hi everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Today we're going to make a Chrome extension using Flutter. The main aim of this video is not to work on the UI or teach you how to build UI in Flutter, but our main focus would be to convert a Flutter app to a Chrome extension. So here I have created a new project and this is the boilerplate code that we get. So let's quickly run this in Chrome and see what it looks like. So this is the counter app. You must have seen this a lot of times. So let's convert this into a Chrome extension. For this, you need to go to the web folder. So here we have the web folder and inside this we'll go to index.html. So here, here you can see uh, the code and uh, in body, you can see this script uh, that installs service worker and uh, this will provide the PWA functionality, but we do not need uh, that. So we're going to remove this whole uh, script from here and and we'll create a new script tag. And here in a script tag, the source will be main. The source will be main dot 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 js and the type will be application slash javascript so that's all uh, we need to do here let's go back to the manifest.json file here you can see a lot of things so this file is to give the information uh, about your app to the web browser so the name of your app is chrome extension the short name and other stuff we're gonna just remove everything and write everything from scratch because we do not need all of that so we're gonna write name and name can be a uh, first chrome extension after name you can have a short description so this will appear in your um, chrome extension um, directory on your chrome browser um, after this uh, we need to mention the version so the version is going to be simply 1.0.0 and then we need to have um, action. We need to have action tag. So this will tell our Chrome extension to direct to default page. And the default page here would be index.html. So we have index.html. And then we're gonna have a default icon as well. So this will come from the icon folder, which is already there. So that's all. And then we need to also mention the manifest version. And this will be three because uh, now Chrome only supports manifest version three, it has been updated. So that's what we need to do in the manifest.json file and index.html. Now, the next thing is to compile this. So we're gonna use this command, flutter build web. So this will uh, compile our web app and uh, there are two types of web renderers that is HTML and Canvas Kit and uh, we are using this CSP flag to uh, ensure the content secure uh, security policies and you can read more about it 
and if you want to know like uh, what different flags in this command mean and might want to read about it so you can do flutter build web um, help and here you will be able to see what uh, other flags are for so here you can see csp that we used it is to disable the dynamic generation of code in uh, generated output so this is necessary to satisfy csp restrictions and you can read more about it here then we also used a web renderer so this is for the implementation to use the when we are building for web we need to uh, specify what web renderer we want to use so there are three options and by default it is auto so that was all and it has been compiled so let's quickly check what it looks like so we're going to go to the chrome extensions from here you can go to manage extensions and you'll be directed to this tab and here you need to go to load unpacked let me zoom in a bit here you need to go to load unpacked and then in the flutter projects i have this chrome extension and here I need to go to build folder and then web folder and then uh, select. So now I can see my first Chrome extension and you can see the name is here. The version number is here and the description. So let's see what it looks like. And uh, this is here. And as you can see, you're not able to see anything right now. Uh, so uh, we missed one thing and that is uh, we need to go back to our index.html and here we need to write style so we need to specify the height and width here so height can be 600 pixels and width can be 400 so now let's save it and we need to run the command again to compile it and it has been compiled so let's go back and here we do not have to load it again we can simply click here and it will be reloaded now let's check our Chrome extension. So now you can see uh, this counter app and it is working properly. So that is how you convert your Flutter apps to Chrome extensions. Uh, this was a simple tutorial to show you how you can convert your Flutter apps in Chrome extensions. So let me know if you want me to make more uh, Chrome extensions using Flutter, maybe add some backend and do some other stuff. So do let me know in the comments and I'll be back again with another video soon. Thanks for watching.